morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another Lululemon haul. I'm always excited for them, like let's be honest, I say that at the beginning of every single one of these videos. I know you guys enjoy them, which makes me enjoy them even more, but this one in particular, I'm a big fan of a lot of the colors that Lulu is doing right now, so I have a ton of fun items to review and really fun colors. I put a little comment slash question box on my Instagram story and asked what you guys wanted to see the most. So there's a lot of accessories in here and then just a lot of different items that I actually haven't tried before that I'm very excited to review. So without further ado, we're gonna get into it and per usual, my measurements, my sizes, these items will all be listed and linked down below. If you have any questions, check down there, comment down below or message me on Instagram and I will try to get back to you. But we're gonna get right on into this, sit back, relax, because we've got a lot of items slash accessories to get through. Starting off with tops, I have a few new sports bras, or I guess a couple new sports bras. The first one being the Light Support Nulu Yoga Bra. This is one of the new fun patterns that I was talking about. Absolutely love them. A little spoiler, you're gonna see these in the Align Short, which I love. But I actually got this bra in white and this really pretty pattern because I knew I was gonna love it. My favorite bra is the Free To Be Wild, which is another light support bra made for like an A to B cup. And this is very similar, but it's the Nulu material, so it's super lightweight. Their Nulu material is intended to be worn for yoga, slow flow, like lower impact workouts. Um, I love the strappy back on this. The one thing I will say, I was kind of expecting this to be like another one of my go-to bras. And the one thing I don't love about this and why I don't like this more than the Free To Be Wild, which I kind of thought I would, it does cut over my shoulder blades a little bit. I don't normally like when bras cut over my shoulder blades. The one thing that helps is that it is that new material. It is a lighter support, so it's not like it digs in. But that is just the one down vault to this, I will say, cuts over my shoulder blades. I never like that. Overall, this was still a win. I was just expecting it. I feel like I went into this with very high hopes, hence why I got two bras to start, the white and this. And once again, I do love it, but still like my Free To Be Wild more. And I did stick with my True Size 6, fit really well. Next item up, we have the Free To Be Wild <laughs> High Neck Long Line. I had to try this because, like you just heard me say, I obviously love the Free To Be Wild, but I've actually never tried I've tried the high neck, but not in the long line. So I wanted to give this a go. Love this light color, big fan of pastels, like clearly this Align tank. I have all of the Align tanks in the pastel colors. Highly recommend those as well. I don't have those in here because I feel like I've put them in all the past videos, but really, really liked this. It has enough support, um, but doesn't cut into where you'd get uncomfortable. I feel like I could actually wear this all day and be totally fine. Any of the free to be bras are gonna be a little bit lighter support. The free to be serene offers more support if you are a little bit bustier. But once again, I'm clearly not. So love the free to be wild and I thought the high neck long line was a good variation. Size six fit perfect. Getting into some of the tank tops, a lot of you wanted to see the race length, AKA more like cropped shirts they offered. So one of my personal favorites, has been one of my favorites for a while, is the cool racer back, and this is in the short Nulu. So the short is basically the same thing as like the race length with the Swiftleys. It's just a cropped length, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I took all of my full length tank tops in and had them hemmed. Lulu does free hemming with the items that you purchase from them, whether that's leggings, tops, whatever. Um, and so I love that they're offering more like waist length shirts now because all of the bottoms are high waisted. I just feel like it's way more flattering, which is why I got all of mine hemmed in the first place. So love this. I stuck with my size six. I don't like tops being too tight and the cool racer back is definitely meant to be more of a tighter fitting top. So size six fits perfect. And I thought this color was gorgeous as well. Love it. Sticking with the same trend, we have the Swiftly Tech racer back tank 2.0 in the race length. So it's that same like waist length 
tank top rather than being full length. I think this looks really good with the mid rise and high rise shorts and leggings. Perfect for the summer, nice and breathable. That's the one thing with the Swiftly is they are perfect for high impact workouts. They're so breathable. So if you're sweating a ton, these are always a good option. I love these for cardio. I actually have been picking up a lot of Swiftly's recently. Um, I have been doing a little cut and with doing cardio more frequently, these have just been my go-to. You'll see I also have a race length long sleeve swift, swiftly in here. Um, and I've purchased a few of those already as well. Love them, which is why I got another one. So once again, this color here for all of the bright summery colors, I thought this was really cute and so glad I was able to snag it. The one thing I did want to say with these, if you tried Swiftly's in the past before they came out with like the race length and kind of adjusted them a little bit, they used to fit very, very tight. They do still fit tighter, but ever since they did the race length, the waist isn't as tight. So I actually got a size four in this. I tried a six in one of the previous try-ons and it just looked really baggy. So this is a size four. I am really happy with how it fits. The long sleeve, which you will see in a second, I did stick with a size six because the arms are really tight. Because this is a tank top, I don't have to worry about it being like too tight on my arms, obviously. So I do prefer the four. Six fits. It's really just preference on how you want it to fit through the midsection. Next item up, we have the All Yours Crop Tank. The All Yours collection that Lulu has right now is one of my favorites. And the color that I was specifically talking about at the beginning of this video with the, like what I'm obsessed with right now is this Crispin Green. I feel like it's the perfect combination between like a neon green and a neon yellow where it's almost still like just like a bright pastel. I love it. There are multiple items in this try on in this color and I may or may not already have a few items in this and I'm hoping they'll launch more because I love it. Like I mentioned, I love the all your stuff. It's just so comfortable. It's more of like a day to day material. You could wear it to and from the gym for sure, um, but it's just like a really light, soft, breathable material. Love crop tops. I think this tank top and the stitching detail along the arms is really cute. So. Snag this in a size six. I get all of the all yours items in a size six. For the most part, every single top I wear a size six. It's mainly just the uh, Swiftly Tech race length tank. So many names going on in my head right now. Um, Next item up is actually one that I used to wear a lot, but I haven't purchased in a long time. But once again, I really liked this color. We have the Love V-neck. So this is just a good basic day-to-day t-shirt. Has the really nice V-neck, obviously. And then it has a good scoop on the front and back. So it does cover your bum a little bit. You can raise your arms and it's not like your stomach's gonna show. This is a true like full length shirt. It is hip length. Um, really stretchy, really comfortable. I love working in these just for like a day-to-day -day shirt, like I mentioned. Size six fits really good. I don't ever like any top being too tight on my arms. One, because I'm a sweaty person and I tend to get pit stains. You know, it just is what it is. So I don't really like when tops are too tight underneath my arms. And like I mentioned, six is my true size and this fits really good. I can tie it up to make it cropped if you pair it with high-waisted leggings. The joggers that I showed this with I think it looks really cute tied up as well. And because it is so stretchy, it ties up super easy. As I mentioned, I did also get the Swiftly Tech 2.0 race length top and love it. I got this in the size six, like I mentioned, this light pink color I just think is adorable. Once again, perfect for cardio, super breathable, um, really good for wearing to and from the gym, especially if you work out in the mornings in the summer when it's still cold in the mornings, like early mornings or maybe at night. So really love these. Everything I mentioned with the tank top applies to this. I just think it has the perfect length. So it looks really flattering with mid rise and high rise bottoms. Um, obviously the long sleeve has the traditional thumb holes that is a staple with Lululemon. And ever since they updated the Swiftly's, this material is just like unreal and so, so comfy, so breathable. And like I mentioned like 50 times, 
fantastic for cardio or anything high impact where you're gonna be sweating a lot. Three more tops to chat about, and two of them I've tried, one of them I have not. This next one is actually a dress. It is the All Yours Tea Dress in, you guessed it, the crisp and green color. Okay, hear me out with this. I'm definitely not a super trendy person. Like I tend to stick with just basics that will last me forever. And I do feel like the t-shirt dress with like the chunky tennis shoes is a little bit trendy. I think this would be a great pool cover up. Like wearing just around in the summer, throwing it on over your bathing suit if you're at the beach or wherever, and just literally wearing it to and from during the summer. So. I saw this as more of a swimsuit cover up, just like comfy, something comfy to wear around during the summer that's really obviously oversized and breathable and just a relaxed fit. So that's why I went for this color. This is a little out there for me because it's like a lot of material, but yeah, I, I personally think this would be perfect to throw on in the summer and you can like cover up your shoulders after a day of laying out. So that's what I intend to wear this for. I'm sure there are people who can dress this up and make it look super cute with like tennis shoes, but I, I think this will be more of like a flip flops and like bikini underneath dress for me personally. I did stick with a size six. I could have definitely done a four. I have a four actually in this from one of my previous try-ons. The thing with the six that I like a lot is that it gives me a little bit extra length. I am 5'8", so I'm a little bit taller. I hate when things are too short on me. So the size six, I just think, hits at a more appropriate length for me. And yeah, love this color. Next item up is one that I am obsessed with. I have been ever since they launched it, and you guys are as well. That is something I know for a fact. The Scuba Oversized Half Zip. I post on my Instagram story every single time I see the light gray one restock because that thing goes so dang quick and I know so many of you have been waiting for it. So I have my eye on the website daily. If you've been waiting for it to restock, I promise I will let you know as soon as I know. Uh, so hopefully you're able to snag it. But I loved this color. I think this is called Tidewater Teal. They also have it in gray sage that actually just restocked today. Maybe that's in stock by the time this goes up tomorrow, but highly recommend these. I do have, I do usually get a lot of questions about sizing, which I totally understand because as I mentioned, I'm a size six in all tops. Thinking of me being an extra small, small in something is like, there's no way that's gonna fit, especially because I have longer arms. The extra small, small fits perfect. If you go based off of Lululemon's sizing chart, a size six falls into the extra small, small category. That's what I did when I was first trying to figure out my size, just checked out their sizing chart. I think that does a really good job. So extra small, small fits perfect. The one thing I will say, these do shrink a little bit in the wash. So I usually machine wash them on cold, but then I will hang dry them just so they don't shrink. But love this color. Love this sweatshirt. I now have mm, basically one of every color. I have two of the gray ones because I snagged an extra one when it restocked because I'm like, what if I can't get my hands on this thing anymore? Um, so yeah, highly recommend if there's anything out of this try on that I think is good for like all year round, no matter what you should purchase it, this. I love this sweatshirt. It's same thing, kind of like that hits at your waist. It's not super cropped, but it looks really, really cute with high-waisted leggings. And I love the oversized fit, the big hood, very comfortable. I think this was a great upgrade from the traditional scuba hoodie. So highly recommend <laughs> size extra small, small fits me perfect, even though I'm a size six. The last top we're gonna to talk about, you guys asked me to try. It is actually pretty similar to the Scuba Oversized Half Zip in terms of like the look of it. This is the textured half zip pullover. So it kind of has this like big mock neck, still has that half zip similar to the Scuba Oversized Half Zip, and it is oversized. Difference is it actually has these strings at the bottom so you can cinch the waist. I always think that's really flattering. The only thing with this that is kind of a downfall for me, I don't necessarily love 
like, I don't know what they're called, parachute arms, that's, that's what I call them. That's probably not correct, but I don't necessarily love that look and I don't like when sleeves are too short on me. So because of the way this fits my arms, I definitely still prefer the scuba oversized half zip over this. However, this material is super lightweight. I love how stretchy it is and just overall I think it's really flattering. And I do feel like this is a little bit more dressy looking. So I still love it, but I know I'm gonna have people asking if I prefer this or the oversized scuba. Definitely still prefer the oversized scuba over this, but I do think this is really cute. And I love that you can fold the collar down like I showed you when I tried it on and I just I think it looks really flattering and like I mentioned I do think it looks a little bit more dressy if you wanted to wear it like more day-to-day -day and pair it with like gosh jeans I mean I don't know if anyone actually wears jeans anymore but you know I feel like it could look good paired with a pair of high-waisted jeans and maybe some flats or sandals or something um, and then same thing sizing wise, this is an extra small small, so it has the same sizing guide as the oversized half zip. Moving right along to bottoms, we are going to start with the Align Short 6 inch. I told you I got them in this pattern to match this Worth bra. Absolutely love them. The Align Short 6 inch is my favorite out of the shorts. They have 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, and 10 inch. The 10 inch is a super high rise, so the waistband is even taller. Those are not my favorite, even though I have a long torso, I don't necessarily like how high the waistband goes on those. Six inch, I think is the perfect length to wear. Your bum's not hanging out, but they also don't really look like biker shorts. They just look like a good, tighter short. You guys know the Align Pant material, Nulu is so soft and buttery. So these are the exact same. And yeah, I just think these are really cute for the summer paired with a white sports bra or the matching sports bra to this in that light support Nulu yoga bra. I am normally a size six in all shorts in Lulu, especially ones that have built in underwear just because otherwise the underwear will cut in on me. It seems very popular that people have to go up a size in their shorts just so they don't cut in on their waist and so they're not too tight. However, with any of their tighter shorts, I do stick with a size four. If I get a six in these, I feel like they don't stay in place as well, but the fours fit me perfect. They don't dig in on my legs by any means. That's the one reason I also really like the Align short because it is such a non-compressive, buttery soft material. They don't dig in whatsoever. They're just super comfortable, flattering, in my opinion, the perfect tighter short. Tighter shorts are very hit or miss, but these I think are fantastic. Next item up was brand new to me. I have never tried a skirt from Lulu before, but you guys wanted me to try it, so here I am. I was able to snag one of them. I do think they restocked some of them today, so hopefully you're able to maybe snag one, but this was like the only one I could find in my size. This is the Pace Rival Skirt Tall. Love that they have a tall and a regular, once again, 5'8", I have longer legs. I don't want my bum hanging out. And I love the pleated look on this. I think it's really cute. Obviously, they're super comfortable, like stretchy material. It does have the shorts underneath it. There is a side pocket for your phone, which is actually really decently sized. I feel like it could fit my big iPhone just fine. And then the shorts have the little non-slip like gooey part around the bottom. They don't dig in. Like I mentioned with the shorts with like built-in underwear, I got a size six in these because I assumed it would fit similar to the shorts. However, I think I probably could have done a four because I felt like I had a little bit of extra room around my waist. Just like a lot of Lulu shorts, they have the back zipper pocket and then the draw cord on the inside. But the main thing with the skirt is that the shorts have that pocket on the inside for your phone, which I just think is great. And, or I guess tennis balls. Is that what that's for? <laughs> Probably tennis balls or your phone. I don't know. Um, and then it has, yeah, that non-slip grip at the bottom. These do a really good job of staying in place. I do think I could have done a four in these though. So maybe take that into consideration. If you're someone who sizes up in shorts normally, maybe stick with your normal legging size for the skirt. Um, because yeah, I did feel like the six was a little bit big, but overall I thought 
This skirt was actually really cute. Once again, I've never tried a skirt before, so I didn't really know what to expect. Chris and I have been playing tennis more just to kind of get moving. I am by no means good. But now I feel like I have the appropriate clothing to go look like I know what I'm doing, even though I don't. <laughs> I will be doing a full shorts haul that will be coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. I know a lot of you asked if I would do another shorts haul like I did last year. I am doing that, but I did want to include a pair of shorts in here that I'm obsessed with and you guys know I'm obsessed with and now a lot of you also love them and I get a lot of questions about sizing. So I have the Inner Glow short in the Terry material. They have Terry and Modal. The Terry is a little bit more of like a sweatshirt material, a little bit thicker, not as stretchy and flexible. I mentioned on my story pretty recently that I can do a four or a six in these. These are like your perfect lounge short. There's no built-in underwear. It's just like a sweat short, basically. Um, I love their new earth dye patterns. I think it's really cute. So I got the earth dye, which this is still the Terry material, in a size six. And then I got, ho, ho, ho. Oh yeah, the Crispin Green Terry in our glow shorts in a size four. So you guys could see the difference of a four and a six on me. They both fit great. The four is just a little bit tighter around my waist, but still doesn't dig in at, at all. Um, the length is still good on me, both really comfortable. The six is just a little bit more oversized. So depending on how you like them to fit, Maybe stick with your legging size or stick with your true short size, whatever you prefer, but I just wanted to include both in here. One, because here for the earth dye, and we've already talked about how much I like this crisp and green color, okay? <laughs> the one thing I will add, the just straight up Terry material, they have this in like a cute purple and a light pink right now. I think maybe the pink mist or something. Um, these are stretchier than my past Terry ones. So they're not as stretchy as the modal, but you can see there's a lot more give to these than there was in the past in my opinion. So I don't know if that's just these lighter colors or maybe if they changed them a little bit, but regardless, fours and sixes still fit me. The four is just a little bit more fitted around my waist and my glutes and then the six fits me a little bit more oversized but clearly love them both i have fours and sixes wear them both equally love them both equally last item i'm going to talk about in this bottoms category is the beyond the studio jogger i do also want to mention that i got through an entire lulu haul without talking about aligned pants granted i had aligned shorts in here but this is the first video i've ever done without bringing those up so Snaps for me, doing great, going out of my comfort zone. Um, but the Beyond the Studio jogger has definitely been more popular recently, so I wanted to give them a try. They have the really cute little cinch at the bottom, like the rouged look, and these obviously are not lined, so they are super lightweight. They're a jogger, so it has that tighter cuff at the bottom. Love the high waistband and how it kind of looks like it has the rouge look at the top as well. I thought these were super flattering and they're, I feel like the perfect summer jogger because they are so lightweight. You can wear them to and from and they would just be really comfy. Have big pockets in the front. There are no pockets in the back or on the side, but then you have the draw cord to adjust the waistband if you need to. So I was really impressed by these. The dance studio jogger was never one of my favorites, but I also never like hated them or anything. I definitely prefer the online version just because I feel like they're really flattering. And I think the jogger look is adorable. Once again, I really like the detailing at the bottom and just how lightweight and comfy these were. So size six fit me perfect. Kind of similar to shorts, I always get a size six in the joggers because I like joggers to fit more like a jogger and look more oversized. I don't like when joggers fit tight because then they just remind me of a legging. So size sixes fit me perfect how I like them to fit. I just, I wanna look at them on and be like, yes, I'm wearing a jogger. Not like, are those joggers? Are those leggings? Not totally sure. So anyway, size six fit perfect in these and I was really impressed. Last but definitely not least, before we get into the couple accessories that I have to show you guys, I have the Waterside V Swim Top CD paired with the Waterside Mid-Rise Skimpy Bottom. 
and I did do a full bikini haul or like Lulu swim haul last year. I will be doing an updated one this year as well, but I had a lot of you ask to review their swimwear and while I could snag one, this is the one I got. Super pleased with how this fit and honestly how it looked. I got size smalls in both. Same thing, I went on to Lululemon sizing chart for their swimwear and being a size four or six in bottoms and a six in tops put me at smalls. So I was really happy with how these fit. They don't dig in on me at all. For some reason with Lulu swimwear, and I know I'm not the only one who kind of gets nervous with this, because they're an active wear company making swimwear, I just, I'm like, oh, they're probably gonna fit really tight and cut in and like not be cute or flattering because they're made for like high impact, like swimming workouts, but that's not the case. They are super flattering. I think they don't cut in on me anywhere. So I feel like if you follow their sizing chart, you will end up with the perfect sizing that's comfortable on you, doesn't cut in on your waist. These straps were super comfortable on the top. Um, and I feel like it's flattering without being too booby. I also don't have a large chest, so maybe you guys can give me your feedback on that, but I love the bottoms. They're a little bit cheeky without being like a straight up thong. That's why they're called the skimpy bottom. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Like I mentioned, I will have a full Lululemon swimwear haul coming down the road, but I wanted to include that since they do have some available on the website right now. I feel like I need a break to take a sip of water. So much talking, but we're in the home stretch of this video, moving on to the accessories. A lot of you said you wanted to see some hats and I found out when I was hat shopping that I have a very small head. I know that sounds silly, but I struggle to find hats that don't go over my ears. And the Lulu baller hat was one that I could always wear and it was really comfy. And I saw they came out with the baller hat soft embroidered. So this is super thin. I don't know if you can see, you can actually like see through the back of the hat. So it's really, really light and breathable. Love that for the summer. I hate, 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 hate when I'm wearing a hat and I take it off and I feel like I need to like dump my head over and like let air just go pumping through because it gets so hot. This I feel like would do a really good job of just keeping it nice and breathable and a little bit cooler. And I love the fact that they did the little embroidered Lululemon on the front and there's actually this little metal logo on the back as well. I got it in white and black because I love doing bleacher workouts in the summer and I felt like this would be perfect. They do also have it in the crisp and green color. So will I end up getting that? Most likely because it's very cute and I just love how basic these are. Um, the one thing with the white, like I had to get it because it's really cute, but white with sweat and makeup always makes me nervous. I will keep you guys posted on how well this washes and holds up. Black is always a really good option, especially if you're, especially if you're gonna be wearing it for workouts just because doesn't show sweat stains as much or makeup. Last two items up are actually bags. I have the Everything Belt bag. I now actually have two. Love them. They're basically like their little fanny pack, but a lot of you said you wanted me to review some of their other ones. So this is the All Night Festival bag micro. I like this one a lot because it's a little bit more fancy looking. It's gold and black, but it has this little pop-up portion and then you can unzip the top and you actually have a lot of room in there. But my favorite part is the fact that you can just have it open, reach into this little pocket. There's no zip or anything, so it's like anything you would need quickly, you can put in that part. The other cool feature on this, there is a zipper. I don't know how you can see because this is black, but along the front of the bag, so if you have it closed like this, you can actually unzip this front part and also put maybe like chapstick, your ID, something that you wanna be a little bit more secured, but that you would need easier access to. So really like this. Last up, we have the bigger fanny pack. The rest is written belt bag. This one, I did get the two-tone. They have it in all black, but I got the black with then like the white Lululemon stitching, obviously. But this guy is nice and large. You have this little front pocket. So same thing, you can put stuff that you would need a little bit easier access to. But then the inside pocket is obviously just much bigger and you have some more compartment 
space in there. I'm actually super excited to have this because I obviously carry my cameras around with me a lot. So by the time I have my phone, my camera, my wallet, chapstick, whatever else I'm bringing with me, that's usually way too much for little bags like this. Like I love the everything belt bag, but I struggle to fit my camera and my phone in there. This bag will be perfect for me because I can fit my camera comfortably. My phone can go in the front or on the main part. So love this. This also does have like a little hanger thing on the back. And then there's a little open slot. Doesn't zip or anything. So you could just stick something in there really quickly if you needed to, but very cute. That is gonna be it for the try on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there was obviously a lot of items in this summer haul. I tried to get as many items as I could from that little comment question box on Instagram. So comment down below what your favorites were or if there's any other items you would like me to try. Like I mentioned, there will be a shorts haul coming very soon. And then after that, there will be that swimwear haul. Like I mentioned, all of my measurements, uh, these items, the sizes I got will be listed and linked down below. And I will see you in the next video.